My name is Kamal Kalender. Um, where we are, we are in Brixton, Loughborough. My involvement in the project was actually installing the solar panels. I got involved with the project through uh, a man named Agamemnon. All of us came together. When I say all of us, I mean local residents who were fed up with uh, no solutions and uh, a real sense of disappointment around the levels of poverty and crime. And uh, we came together and tried to shot ideas around. And there were a bunch of other people who were like, we need to do this, we need to do community energy. We sort of started meet and we met every Monday for 14 months. And then uh, we got a project off the ground and this was it. You're standing with me on Brixton Energy Solar One, which was the first community owned renewable energy project on social housing in the UK. I did have a, um, a lot of interest in renewable energy before the project. And doing this project as well, I've actually learned a lot more about how it actually works actually doing it myself. With 54% of global population in urban areas, I think where we are right now is that this is the reality. This micro-energy generation is the future because um, you look at countries like India and China, which have 1.3, 1.4 billion people in them, and you look at London with, with 8.5 million people living in the city, all of our energy is being used by the cities. London uses 12% of the UK's energy. These individual houses have to have that generation and the system isn't built for it. So this is the future and the fact that the first one on social housing was only four years ago and now we've got tens and twenties of these going on and about to be hundreds of them across social housing is good, but it's so modest. We need to really scale that up and it needs to happen in all the major cities. It's giving the community a new light. It's giving them free community lighting it's also giving them electricity for the lifts as well. I would like to see more, but I'd like to see that there's some, there's some growth as well, so that the government is also trying to help fund these projects because it's renewable energy, it's not a bad thing. We found that uh, selling excess energy to them, to good energy, has made um, a lot of sense, ethical sense to our cooperative members. But what's recently happened is that we've been, we worked with the pilot for what's now Selectricity and which we're really excited about. And Ari, we know that this energy right here is going to the Eden Project. But what we're also really excited about is, is hopefully not just being able to have it go to businesses in the local area, but actually eventually to individuals in the local area.